Okay, this is our very first podcast right here, and uh, this is Anakin, my name is Will, and today we're going to be talking about uh, some, some, some ideas that we've been talking about on Star Wars, um, he, Anakin has been watching a lot of the, uh, the Clone Wars yeah. videos, which have uh, I have not watched a single episode, but so I'm going to be asking him a couple questions about us because I even though I'm a Star Wars fan, I I have not watched any of the Clone Wars series. Um, have you seen all of them? No, I'm in the fourth season. There's first, how many seasons are there? There there are six seasons, but they're making a seventh season this year. Seventh season. Yeah, because when Disney got bought. Um, Star Wars, they canceled the series on the sixth season, but they're adding the final seventh season this year. Oh. Mm-hmm. So I'm the fourth season. I wonder if they're just trying to tie in the whole... Uh, to end the, the whole Clone Wars genre. Oh. And probably gonna somehow tie it into the whole uh, Force uh, Awakens? Yeah, but it's gonna tie into the Revenge of the Sith. And then it's going to move on to The Force Awakens. Hmm. Okay. So, so what was your take? What is it that you like so much about the uh, about the Clone Wars season, the series? Well, I like it because it talks about, not only about the, the, the Republic, but because of the, it goes on separate stories on the Separatists. And I know some more facts than I used to know. Like, Count Dooku has, used to have a, a princess named Massage Ventress, mm-hmm. and that Darth Maul is still alive. And so just scattered episodes that are really important. Like, this season, it talks about how Darth Maul is still alive. Oh, wow. Okay. And how he has a brother called Savage Opress. And it ended on a cliffhanger on the fourth season, the last episode. And I can't wait to see the season five. So, so they do a lot of background missions too that, that yeah were never really exposed and be true. So, hmm. so basically, it's about so the movies. So you have you have uh, episode one. You have then then it goes to episode two, the clone, clone Attack Wars. of the Clones. Attack of the Clones. So it's between that and the Clone Wars after. Um, Attack of the Clones, it goes to the, to the first set, season. Right? So it's everything in between? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. And uh, so it just ties both movies together? Yeah, but it's been a couple of years since they... So, like, it was like a couple of years ago when Disney bought Star Wars. And when Disney bought Star Wars, they canceled it. And they were going to continue on the seventh season, but it just left a gap there for a couple of years. So it didn't really finish it. But they're going to finish that gap the seventh season. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so out of all the uh, the the series, which one was your favorite? Out of all the seasons? Mm-hmm. Um, season four, because one of the main reasons why I watched um, The Clone Wars was because I, you were talking about Star Wars one day, and you were watching videos and one of them talked about Clone Wars, Clone Wars talked about Darth Maul being alive and I wanted to see on how he did that Yeah. and how he survived in that junkyard all well, those years. How he survived, how he survived. Uh, from being cut in half by Obi-Wan Kenobi. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's one of the reasons and in one scene he had like a black lightsaber and I remember you telling me he was like a legendary one. Yeah. So I want I wanted to see on where it came from, and that it came. Now I know that it came from the Mandalorians. Mandalorians, yeah. Uh, but I don't. Uh, I personally, even though I'll probably end up watching the the uh, the Clone Wars series, um, I like the audiobooks. I like the uh, like the Darth Bane trilogies. I like the. The Plagueis audiobook, I like, uh, and each one of them is about 10 hours long. So you have to be really patient, and that's why I was telling 
Anakin about these uh, these these audiobooks, and at first he wasn't getting um, he had no real interest. But in time, he he uh, he started watching the, the Clone Wars, and he started you started getting into it, right? Like yeah. the, the story, the backstories, and things like that. But there's a uh, the, the the whole Star Wars universe. It's the further back. In my opinion, the further back you go, the more interesting it actually becomes. Um, although, I haven't really dived into the story storyline after um, after Revenge, Revenge of the Sith. Because uh, Disney did their own spin on, on the, the Star Wars uh, franchise and taken it in a whole different direction. Where personally, I feel like uh, Lucas made a—he already had a, the blueprint for for really great storylines, and it's it's hard for me to wrap my mind around that his Disney storyline version of Star Wars. But at least uh, at least the Clone Wars, I believe, were still under some were still under his name under Lucas, so. I'll, I'll take the time and watch them. So, when you first saw, what was the first episode about? Um, the first episode was when the Separatists, the droids, they invaded the another planet. For the droid army? Yeah, so that way the Separatists could take that planet. And Yoda was there. And that was the only episode where he fought with the clones to attack the separatists but most of the episodes he, he's in the Jedi Council in the meetings he's mm. that's the, that was the first episode about that was what the first episode was about okay and um the second the second episode that's the of the second series the second um second season, season? what was that about it all focused around Because they, they don't really s specify on what genre it is. I mean, it's Star Wars, but the 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 Jedi uh -huh. go on these adventures to try to capture Grievous or Dooku to try to end the war. Oh, yeah. They're chasing They're chasing him around. Mm -hmm. But what I like about it is because it's not just one episode and then the next episode is something completely different. It... If so, the clones so, are in a in a in a big situation, it they the so during that time period, Dooku is still his a, a, a like a, a apprentice to cities. Cities. Yeah, during that time period. Oh, wow. okay. And that it uh, they stretch the the ideas in about five episodes, and each episode is about like twenty minutes, twenty minutes long. And so, for example, an episode was that the clones were trying to overcome, trying to retake a planet, mm -hmm. and they. And what I liked about this episode was because the, the Jedi commander was leading it, and the Jedi commander wanted to be Dooku's apprentice, so he was trying to do everything he can to sabotage the whole mission. And so, one part was. The Obi Wan was there too, and he had a separate platoon of of clones, and um, the other guy, the other commander Jedi, his name was Krell, and he had four arms, and he commanded Obi Wan's commander, clone commander, to attack his his camp because they were the enemy but wearing their armor, but it was a whole trap, and so they basically killed their brothers. In the effort to try to win the war, but one of them, one of the clones, saw one of the other clones get shot, but their helmet, one of their helmets, got 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 knocked off. No. And he found out that it was a trap, so he told his soldiers to take off their helmets, so that way he could he could warn the other, he could tell the other clones that they were also clones all too. And so, before the main commander, main clone commander died, he told the other commander that it was Captain Krell who told him the order. 
And so they knew he was a traitor, but he was a Jedi, and he just escaped easily. But they, they overcame, they overcome them with the numbers they had. That was my episode on it, because the Jedi could also be a Separatist, and the Separatist could easily be a, be a Jedi. Oh, okay. That's one of my favorite episodes. So you, you recommend watching the series to somebody? Oh, I totally recommend it, yeah. When I... Mm, never mind. So if somebody's first starting to get into the uh, Star Wars... Um, the whole Star Wars, they want to learn about Star Wars, I totally recommend the Clone Wars because it... It dives deeper in the Star Wars lore. So then they, when they start watching episode 1, 2... Well, actually, they'd have to start... Well, it explains episode 1, 2, and 3, right? Mm -hmm. The in-between. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. And uh, and you also read the novels? Um, I don't really read the novels, but I'm, I'm, I'm actually the, getting excited to read more. To right. read the novels because the more I dive deeper into the Clone Wars, the more I want to find are, out. These are the ones that are like, like uh, they're like comic books, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I read a couple that were pretty interesting about the Crimson Guards and and it it talks about the backstories um, of how they became guards. Yeah, that, that was really interesting. Um, how Palpatine um, basically recruited them and trained them and to become his his uh, personal personal guards but you haven't read any of those have you no not yet no, not yet okay which ones did you read um i read the uh, i read some books some comic books on what happened after the empire the return of the jedi after the movie it takes place after that. Oh, okay. But it leads up to the Force Awakens. But oh, okay. Yeah, I read one of them, but honestly, didn't really like it. No, the book or the the book the Force. Book. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it talks about the the kids of of the. Does it talk about Luke's kid and? No, it just takes place after it. It, it just dives deeper into the soldiers. Of the rebellion. Oh, okay, okay. But they Got just it. go on some other trips that don't really make any sense. Okay. So, so for our next, our next video that we're gonna do, what, what do you think would be some? some well, I think we could... should, we should talk about the Sith more about the Sith. Oh yeah. On the Sith genre. That's that's probably one of my favorite topics. Um, is um. Uh, when they talk about Darth Bane and the rule of two and thing I, I really really enjoy when I start talking about that stuff I find that a little bit more fascinating but if uh, if you want to leave a comment or let us know what you think we should talk about uh, let us know